Today we're making some quick and easy lunch ideas that are perfect for back to school season. Hi, I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats and welcome to my channel. Today we are making some quick and easy lunch ideas. I've got three for you that are my kids' favorites and I'm super excited to share them. We're gonna first start with these monster cookie bars. These are so good. They're chewy. They are great to make on Sundays just to pack for like a little snack for your kids. They're also great for after school snacks. These monster bars are also a one bowl recipe for easy cleanup, which is great. We're gonna start by melting some butter. We've got four tablespoons. You wanna just allow it to cool a little bit. Then we're gonna line an eight by eight pan with some parchment paper. I like to leave the sides a little bit high just so it's super easy to pull out afterwards. For our dry ingredients, we've got some flour. We're gonna use old fashioned oats. We've got salt and a little bit of baking soda with some brown sugar and white sugar. We're gonna stir that up. Then we're gonna add in two eggs. We've got our melted butter. You want this cooled a little bit so it doesn't cook those eggs and a little bit of vanilla extract. Then stir this up. We're gonna add in our peanut butter, then give that a stir. Next, we're gonna pour in our mini M&Ms. You can also just use regular M&Ms for this. Give that a really good stir. Then you're just gonna plop it over the parchment paper. I like to use another piece of parchment paper on top to really smush it down flat into a nice even layer and then make sure to work into the corners too. It's just way easier. It doesn't get sticky all over your hands. Next, we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. I can't talk today. And you wanna allow this to cool for about an hour before you take it out. And then you're just gonna slice this into about 16 squares. You're gonna see my dog here in a second. Look at the hut, she's so funny. He's just like waiting for some, but it has chocolate in it, so he can't have any. These are so yummy. I know you guys will love them. They're super chewy like a brownie. They're delicious. When it comes to school shopping for like things to make your life a little bit easier. I had a couple things this year that I got. Um, these were from TJ Maxx. So I just got these, this cute little thermos. My kids love buttered noodles in the morning, which is sometimes annoying because then I have to make them in the morning, wake up a little bit earlier. But these two came together for like, I think it was $22 for these. I felt like things were a little bit expensive on Amazon this year, um, especially the bento boxes. This one we got on Amazon, I think it was like about $30 or so, maybe 25. We got this one last year. The only thing I don't like about it is I feel like the containers are kind of all really small. Um, I was able to pick up this one I just got. Um, I think this was only $12. It's like Cat and Jack from Target. And I like it because, well, first off it has the ice pack in it, which is pretty cool. And then the containers were just a little bit bigger. This one's all wet from washing it. But I always like, for some reason, I don't know, like my brain, like, like really weird but it has this tiny little circle container in the middle and I'm like I can never figure out what to pack in there unless it's like gummies or something and it kind of drives me crazy so I don't I don't love this one we also my daughter made me get these which are so cute these are from cat and jack too from target and it has like a cute little chopstick in it and then a fork and a knife and I think this was like maybe five dollars or so but it comes in this cute little container it's fun to pack one of my favorite things were these cute little containers with raccoons holding pizza. You can see it, it's so cute. So these came with three in a pack and they were pretty inexpensive too. I think the Cat and Jack stuff was like really good price this year. Um, so definitely check that out if you're looking for school stuff. Next up, we have these DIY pizza Lunchables. These are my kids' favorite, especially my nine-year-olds. They're super fun because you can customize the toppings however you want and they're really yummy. We're gonna use these Stone Fire Naan Breads, which are easy to pick up at the store, and this takes about five minutes to pack. I start by just shredding some mozzarella cheese. I just think it tastes fresher if you shred it yourself, and it just takes a few minutes. So I'm just using about a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. Then I like to pack these into bento boxes just because it's fun and it looks like a Lunchable. I'm gonna add about five of those Naan Breads. Then I'm gonna stuff some mozzarella cheese in with some turkey pepperoni. My kids like turkey pepperoni instead of regular, but you can use any toppings. And then you wanna use a large enough section to do the marinara sauce so that they have enough room to stick the spoon in there. And my kids absolutely go crazy over these. I love them because you can customize the toppings to whatever their favorites are. I usually pack some black olives too because my youngest really likes that. Next up, we have these charcuterie skewers. These are so easy. You can put fruit on them. You can do veggies. I like to do veggies with ranch dressing. You can also do pepperoni with cheese. I really like mozzarella cheese for this because it's really easy to skewer on. The cheddar loves to break, so just watch out for that. But these are super yummy and 
really fun to make. I was able to find these cute little toothpicks at Hobby Lobby with the little pink ends, which I thought were cute. Then I just chop up some cheese. I just rotate the pepperoni on the sticks with the cheese. Mozzarella or Colby Jack is really good for this. Cheddar is a little bit crumbly and loves to break on me. Then I just do some veggies. I've got carrots and cucumbers. My youngest is making grapes. Be careful with the carrots because they're like a little bit hard to get stuck on there. Maybe don't let your kids do those ones, but these are just really fun. It's a lot funner to eat veggies when you have them on a stick. And then I add a little bit of ranch to dip it in. That's it for this week. I hope you guys love these quick and easy ideas for lunches. I know the mornings get really busy and chaotic, especially in my house. I'm not really looking forward to it, but it is what it is. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe for new recipes. I usually have a new video come out every single Friday and I love it when you guys watch them. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next week. Bye. Happy school season.